welcome back to Let's Play Shadowgate. Last time, I uh, got really scared when I entered this room. Um, the Sphinx was okay, but the uh, the girl that was chained to the walls really, really scared me. Um, so let's uh, go somewhere else instead. <laughs> let's go in here. Though the evening air is cool, this small circular room radiates a fervent heat. This horn is forged of flawless platinum. Its beauty is unbelievable. Let's pick this up. Fireball suddenly appears in this room and causes you to shield your eyes. When you open them, you notice that the fire has changed into something far more menacing. Is it a... Oh, it's a hellhound. The hellhound makes this hot room even hotter. There must be a way to cool the room off before you roast. and pounces on you. Its teeth sink deep into your flesh. Yes, and we died. Okay, so we need something else there. Um, okay, oh, wait a minute. Let's go back into the laboratory. Yes, small stuffy laboratory. I'm wasting time. Jar ex extremely slimy, but it isn't cool. Yeah, no wasting time. There we go. What? It's a silver vial. What's this? Ah, oh, yes, lab animals can be changed to that one. Yes. Uh, Dear viewer, I have no idea how you're supposed to figure this out, but you actually can use this. <laughs> and it rises out of the floor. And as we found the holy water, yes, the stones descend back into place. But I need. I got a torch. Okay, yeah. As I said, um, I have no idea how you're supposed to fig figure that out. But uh, now we got something. So we can cool the room in which the hellhound is in. Hello. the hellhound back to the place where it was spawned. The flame died out. The room is quiet, as though nothing had happened. And now we can pick up the horn. Can we use it? No, I don't want to use the blade. Hmm, nice. But nothing happened. As you 
stand on the turret, an eerie blue dragon appears in the clear starry sky. Okay, we got something here. This rather heavy talisman is made of gold and is extremely sharp along its edges. It shines with an incredible brilliance. And you look quite scary. It's a fever! Hopefully I pronounced that correct. This beastie is a distant cousin of a dragon, but is smaller and fiercer. Do we have a... No, we don't have a clue. Don't quit now! No... Um... Can I use the blade on him? Nothing happened. I need to throw something... over your head and release the stone. Not bad for a beginner. With the speed of lightning, the vivern <laughs> wraps his tail around your neck. You die, screaming silently. How do you scream silently? Let's continue. Okay. Um, let's try something else here. Quite heavy. The star becomes a flash of light as you launch it. Oh! oh. Crash! It strikes the vivir and it explodes into a million pieces. Haha! -ha. Now we can pick up the talisman. a small corridor. Two arched doorways wait patiently for you. This is another favorite of mine. I love this music. But let's go to the left. Okay, let's go this way. From this windy ledge you can get an idea of the size and strength of the castle. This appears to be a mount of some sort, perhaps for a flagpole. Well, I don't got a flagpole, but I, I picked up a, a rod. Yes! Suddenly, the sky seems to be on fire as a bolt of pure lightning strikes the rod. You are startled to see a skeletal hand rise from a hole that was formed at your feet. Nice! Again? Really? Oh! That was my last torch! Oh well, let's pick up this. Ooh, it's a wand. As you take the wand from the skeletal hand, it begins to descend. The hole then closes up, as if it had never... never been, I'm sorry. Side as you stand on the lookout point. We got a bag. This canvas pouch looks to be quite light. Close inspection reveals some druidic script on it. Okay, so I guess we can't read it. It's a pot of gold. The leprechaun must have skipped town. Excellent. Let's begin. Here, bag number three. Yes, 
Fallen for the oldest trick in the book. You suddenly find yourself knee deep in the moat. It seems that the alligators really enjoy your company. And we died again. Uh, to pick up all the stuff again. Okay, let's do it real quick and then I'll end the video actually. I'm gonna end this video with the tunes of impending doom. When we come back, we will probably light the torch. See you next time.